I think Obelisk is who I haven't done most recently. I cleared with Magma and... Moss Cloak earlier. Failed a couple clairvoyant runs. Cleared Weaver on one try. Can actually see. Got Platinum 1, Platinum 2, Platinum 2. So yeah, Obelisk has Platinum 3. It's the one I haven't cleared most recently. So let's do one run with him. I think the season pass unlocked these like old school RPG shields. in with obelisk this might be the run that puts me into ink bound level I, I, I think I need two but hopefully we'll win and then we'll know for sure oh god this noise I guess I didn't progress that quest. Attuning the sea, what do I need to do? Finish more runs. Maybe I need to finish this Inkwell Mysteries ones first. If so, that's gonna be annoying. I'll, I'll definitely try to do these off stream. I'm wearing a headset, of course, so the background noise is prob- oh wait. You're not helping me. Turn off this background noise. Uh, I just killed Argoloth, so I don't want to do him again. Spiked or dodge? I wonder how fast I can finish that on this guy. Maybe I just try to stack spiked on him. Uh, definitely don't want that. I, I really like this early. Cheese cards is better later, because I'll just get extra quillings right but I I like getting a free crit on all of my abilities to start uh, 10 damage is fine I really like the increased range for shield early but just take the 10 damage get out of here to stop this noise um, I don't have to take the easiest on this guy I think I'm just gonna take the attack I what do I need radiant market don't have an option for it. We'll just take the increased attack. I feel pretty confident on this guy. As long as I don't take the minus willpower challenge. And I will take Quillings because I do feel more confident on this guy. But that may be why I lose this run. My overconfidence on this class take damage from him dying. I think I'm just gonna work on this guy. Well, two attacks, two attacks I'm gonna kill him. So I'll save my big hit for next turn. Hit all of them. I kind of want to grab my globe too. So maybe I just do this first. What is this? Two cost discount. Doesn't help. I think a little bit of damage because they all direct attack.
a little annoying that I just take one damage when they die, but could have been worse. This actually isn't going to kill him, so I should have grabbed my globe. Mistake. Oh. Doesn't really matter now, but... Yeah, I took way more damage than I should have there. Um, I will just take the gray heal. Crit chance is fine, but... I don't want any of these... I guess I'll take the crush. I want the extended range, but I'm not going to reroll it. I really like Invigorate and Cleave. On Invigorate's really good for Shield Bash or Seismic Slam and the Ascensions for him, so I will grab it. I do like cleave too, but it's a longer cooldown. This has more utility. I can get heals and other things on it, right? Let's not be greedy with it. One pixel away! Made a mistake. I could uh, kill them with this potion, but I'm only taking two damage, so. Oh, spike damage, and it's green. More damage. I really want the shield extended range. I think I'm gonna reroll for it. And I didn't get it, but I did get a green. It's not the greatest green though. Let's just take the cooldown reduction. No, we'll take the shield, it's fine. I'm gonna buy bindings here. Extra damage would finish that off. Resistant is okay. Extra damage is okay. I'd rather have the range on this as well. Let's see what the other one is. HP, extra damage. The damage on the shield. Not having the extended range on this is going to kind of mess me up. I always have extended range on the shield bash as one of my gray talents. Uh, I don't want to take damage as my last one, or at least not a blue damage. So it's either resistant. Thunder's Iron Clap's fine. Your vault. Eat our brain tuna.
That worked out perfectly. Doesn't happen often. Oh, I can't believe it didn't kill these guys. He's got seven inky might. Still generating a good amount of shields though. So he gains shields here. I might as well move up here because Two extra shield a turn, or more if I get other shield buffs. Magic damage will be good if I get smite, but this is just one shield and a possibility to smite. I feel like this is way better. Because this is no damage, just two shield. This is one shield and damage. Not much, because I don't have magic power, but... Physical power is fine. It's actually what I really want. Physical and ability power. Restoring health. The cooldown's not bad. I would rather have the cost reduction. Shatter is not bad, but that would be my last ability on there. Okay, I take blink every single run. I am not going to take it here. I will reroll for shield or heal. This will not be a crutch. It's so strong, but here's shield wall. I will take you. I guess we can go to the garden. This isn't a brick because I can heal, but... Garden's money and a vestige. Uh, I like the free evasion on movement. I do only have one movement ability, so I may not get the evasion every turn. Physical power for everything on cooldown's fine. Crit poison is probably the worst. I only have eight percent crit. Although I do have three free crits for right now, but this is also the first vestige I get rid of if. Let's take the evasion. Movement. One evasion is always really good. Maybe multiple evasions are better, but just getting a free evasion from charging is really easy to manage. When you're getting direct attacked. I don't think we even need to invigorate our slam, but we might as well. I think I'm gonna just stand in this and use my shield. Let him take some spike damage. Did he take spike damage? He did, 30 spike damage. I did way more smite damage though. Look at all these smites because of all the shield I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven smite damage to him. That's so crazy. So does it smite him for every single shield a point I lose? That's what it looks like it did because he didn't attack me that many times, right? Wow. That's going to be pretty broken. It's actually better to stack magic if that's going to be the case. Although the physical helps me with my other abilities, right? Anyway. Uh, he's AoEing. We just smack them all. 
charge him, grab some orbs. Smack him some more for shields. Yeah, wow. He's taking way more smite damage than he is. Uh, spike damage from my, you know, spikes. I don't think I have an upgrade. I do have a spike damage upgrade too. That's pretty crazy. It means it's gonna be better to stand in their abilities a lot of times. To pay attention. Um, it's probably best to just get shields and stand in this. But it is 12 damage. I gain four from this. And then I can gain three more. So maybe I don't want to stand in this one. He only gets stronger though. Kind of interesting the way this is working. Almost takes him to his next phase. I probably don't want to stand in the AoEs that I can avoid though, because he's gonna naturally AoE me sometimes. Not worried about any of the spawns, like I'll kill all of that, but it does make him stronger. I don't need to use my shield wall this turn, I can generate a decent amount. That is so much smite damage. So I will use my shield wall this turn. Such a good green for um, Obelisk. Maybe I get a crit and kill him without taking the damage. Oh, I did. Uh, I do want to reroll. I don't want this to be my first ascension. I mean, even the shield I would rather take right now than... Nice. This is more burst damage. This is more sustain damage for bosses. I'm going to take the sustain for bosses. If you get a lot of cooldown reduction as well, like increasing this by 50 every cast is pretty crazy. If I can cast this every turn. It would be possible if I took the blink, but it could still be possible. So hastening Invigorate reduces it by one, but that's not what I want to take. It's either the shield or the charge. I think it's the charge for now. Just a little more damage. I've only gained six spikes so far. Need to find more uh, ways to get spiked. There's some abilities I can get on my... Uh, here's more spiked. I do think I want the ability power though. It's just more consistent than spiked. I have other ways to get more spiked. What am I supposed to do? Radiant Market? Oh my lord, this is the minus one real reserve. I'm gonna do it. I've never done Wit Thief. I feel like this is the hardest. Like, minus one every time I pick up a globe for the next turn.
Maybe I try to avoid any globe based build. Oh, I love that. I'll get rid of the ability power one. If I use one, I'll never remember to pick it back up unless I'm over here, but... Can't reach. I don't have my talent. him so bad. I can't believe so he takes five smites if he hits me. That's so strong. I'm already taking zero damage because he How am I taking zero damage? Does he die from one smite? Oh, because I'm dodging. Okay, I got you from charging. So that's why he was taking no damage. Uh, he's gonna blow up. Taking one. It's going to be from his 12 damage hit. But it kills him. Wow. Yeah. Because it smites him 11 times, right? For the 11 armor I had. Kind of want to kill this guy and then just tank up that guy next turn, but... I don't want to stand in just regular bombs. I'm standing in a regular bomb. But I was hoping I was standing in one of their attacks, but... Just get the spiked up to kill them both. A blue crit chance, huh? really have any crit synergy but crit's never bad i think ability power might be better though it's nine percent i have to take it my dealing crush damage gain shield that's really good uh powder monkey is pretty good these are all actually pretty good this one is more synergy with what i'm doing right now i don't generate a ton of extra crush but it's just can be more broken. I did use a potion and I saw mine, so I actually remembered to grab it. Full discount's okay, but I'd rather get the range upgrade. Cooldown's okay. Yeah, I'll just take the shield cooldown here. Uh, I will actually go and buy some bindings. This is more spiked for my quest. Resistance okay. Uh, I'm gonna be using this on cooldown a lot. So let's just get a crit. I don't want the full cost discount. I would like it, but I just don't want it to be my last ability. For 
rare augment. He's got phase that I want to knock off before. I forgot about losing will when I collect an orb. That's why my will was kind of weird a couple of those turns. I have eight shield. He's just gonna kill himself on my uh, with my smites here. Wonder if I do I even want to grab that orb. It gives me cooldown reduction, but. You guys have the... I'm gonna lose max health when getting hit from him. It's fine. It's awkward. I think I do grab the orbs now. sucks. If I had the increased range, I could. So, where do I see? I'm going to have negative two will next turn, so I'll only have two. Sadly, I think I have to take more. Health damage here, like max health. Can I reach all of them without standing in the ink? Looks like I can. Uh, Take 21 damage. Oh, 16. Phase powered. Thankfully, I, I think I had a crit on that. So I lost four max HP there. Pretty hard fight. Uh, Continuous deck spike. Hopefully, I get some of the vestiges that really set it off. I just take three more spiked here. I don't really want to re-roll. Maybe I just take shattered because I'm not going to get the ranged upgrade. Fishy. Uh, I love battering ram. It turns it to one cost. Same cooldown. I am doing a spiked build though, so maybe headbutt's better. Yeah, I will take headbutt here. I really love battering ram, but this is more synergistic to what I'm doing. Could take the sea breach here. Well, there's a potion here. 
guess I should at least look at it. Cool down. It's probably actually better since I don't want to pick up globes as much. So 10 max HP for two glyphs, I'll do that. I'm already full HP, technically. Since I lost four max before. Now let's take a little e extra max HP. A rogue vault and a rare augment. dodge this time. He does have physical resist, which kind of sucks, but... Uh, maybe I should have looked at that a little more. It's fine. It will kill him, so at least you are one hit from death, right? Oh, it's so finicky right here. I was hitting all three before. Now I'm not even getting close. Yeah, it's like I'm it's like this bomb is in my way or something. It's like two of these bombs are in my way to get the pixel I need to hit all three of these. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh. My lord. I can kill him. That'll stop one of these jumps. Maybe kill him and... out on the money but it should kill off everything but him because I charge and I'll evade him you have one less willpower this turn right no I didn't grab the globe Everything is direct attacking me. You can only get two armor. These two are both physical resist. Not having any range increases on my abilities is really hurting these uh, pixel. Oh, I could just do this then. I 
almost kill them. I have two less willpower next turn. upgrade on my these guys are only doing two so it's better to just hit him if I can I saw him light up from somewhere. There it is. Good grief. Sorry about that. what are oh double your shield gain that feels very relevant so maybe we never take damage again hopefully let's take some mobility power crit or the heal are fine but hopefully I don't take any more damage I really don't like this dice thing This is only until the end of combat. So physical power, I guess the dice on only one to five is bad because even the magic power is good for the smite. So let's just take it. Uh, this is more spiked, but I really want the range to increase. But I think that's a green. Could just take the colossal damage or the extra ability power. I like the cost reduction on that. Let's just take the extra ability power. Go to the steady. Or heroic vault. I do like the pipe. Pitch pipe, since I don't want to grab as many globes as usual. This is pretty much just two ability power a turn. So yeah, I'll take the cost discount. It's really good. I have two two cost abilities. Getting the cooldown reduction is nice too. I'm still grabbing globes. I just don't want to grab every globe. I didn't know that they could get different. I thought all these got the same buffs. Mm. 
So he's got a glass cannon, but he's got an inkling reversal. Maybe because it's the boss, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave the globes. Guess I should wait up here for him then. Just do a little bit of damage to the boss. This is a free cast this turn. Why do I take 20 from a guy doing 8? Because his AoE is 10? Yeah. Okay. He's doing his big AoE. Maybe I grab one globe here. Or I just walk out of it if I don't have enough damage. Which I don't think I do. Uh, I would have to crit here. And I don't need to take that risk. I could just soul shackle him into his next phase. I usually like to wait next to my globe. I could just try to get a crit. My iron clap. Okay. Got the crit. I can't pick up the globe if I need, but... Pretty strong already. Uh, the AoE is from him. Getting quest completions here. What from? Okay, so now I need to speak with the tinker. So that weird background saw sound or whatever did uh, complete. Max HP from Stone Blossom. I've done this for another quest already. The wind song. Can't do that one. I'm done with the dailies now. Okay. Just track that one for now. Um, this shell goes really well with the build I'm doing. Does mean I won't have a good radius increase. But this is synergy to what I'm doing, so. I uh, don't want the frostbite. Dazed is okay. Just gain more shield. Just shield for days. Oh, I finished one of those arm quests, I guess. Okay. I was hoping I would kind of naturally finish those, but that's the first one I've finished. Oh, here comes the sound. It reminds me of the uh, Dumb and Dumber. The most annoying sound in the uh, world. Um, 
This is... I don't think I want to do that this turn. I wonder if I can just get enough armor to stand in all of this mess. Yep. Just stand in here and do smite in. Fifty-two is probably too much. I'm dodging his attack. I guess it's him that I'm doing the damage to. I guess I just wait for these to kind of have discounts on them. Otherwise, just focus on gaining armor. I'm taking a ton of damage here, though. I need to pick up globes. I'm taking zero. Interesting. These guys have a lot of damage, so I'm dodging one of them. All the spiked and the smites. Pretty strong. Yes, ability power. I can't re-roll. This is my last opportunity to re-roll. Uh, pretty sure all my bindings are still physical, except for no, nope, every single one is so. Pile is really good. Unstave is really good for more damage reduction. Um, so does this Dice of Fate just always keep these stats? If so, this is so strong. I did not realize it. I thought only each turn. Wow, this thing is so strong. So now I know why it's a purple. So if you get this early, I should have never thrown this out in my other run. If you get this early, you just get so many free stats as it rolls each turn. Oh. Wow. This Dice of Fate is very strong. I completely misjudged it. Every turn you get a chance at another stat. Only 1 to 5 is nothing. So I already have one extra willpower, one physical damage, and seven magic power. It's funny, it's never rolled an ability power, but man. Okay. Dice of Fate's strong. The earlier you get it. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? The crit on first binding, probably. I can re-roll... I can take the frostbite, I can take the dazed. If I re-roll, what am I re-rolling for? The same thing. I wonder if it gives me an option if I re-roll. Does it just give me the same one? Because that patch that says it tries to not give you the same options. Let's see what happens. Uh, one stack of crush or one will cost. So these were my other two options. I think the crush is fine. I'm gonna be spamming this more for shields. Uh, 
ability power. We can afford one reroll for a legendary. Prey's not bad, but I'd really like the uh, spikes legendary. I only have one chance at it though. Dazed is fine. Definitely don't want more orbs on this run. Um, who, what do I get rid of? Shields, discounts, smites. I really like this evasion, but maybe this is what I get rid of. I may regret this, but get rid of the evasion. I think we're strong enough anyway. But the evasion does help. This is mostly a big AoE mess. Gonna be interesting just stand in everything. Uh, he's already hitting the boss. Wonder if I can just build up enough shields standing right here in everything. Yeah, I can. True tank. Just stand here and press one button get smashed by everything. Okay, I don't want to stand in fire. Even I'm not that strong. We could just do our smash here to up its damage. It's also got the, I guess if I do that, I want to be behind him because it's going to hit him too, right? More or less just the, for the damage increase. He's already in second phase. And this is free, so I might as well cast it. like work our way over here while casting spikes. That one hit knocked them all the way down. So both of them are worn down from hitting me once. This is probably the easiest it's ever gonna be. Stand here and spam one. This is free, but I don't want to put it on cooldown because I'm not grabbing globes because of the Wits Thief. I think I will stand here and spam one. I guess I could hit him. Let's do this. Like, knock him into the boss do the mechanics a little bit. I don't think I have to, but why not? This is 
definitely the easiest run. Oh look, I'm dying. I wonder if I'll actually die. Nope. I will take damage though. Alright, let's see how much that did. So I built up a ton of spikes and then I used my charge at the end with both my pots. Oh, I can't see. Okay, here I can. All I see is a bunch of smite damage. <laughs> so it doesn't scroll up far enough because I smited him so many times from how much armor I had. I can't even see, like the actual damage that my charge did because there were so many smites from having so much armor. Very, very interesting. So if I had the other legendary spike vestige, it would have went even faster than that. But that was a super tanky, interesting build. And Dice of Fates is broken, so get it early and keep it forever. Look at that. That's more than a lot of legendary items give you. Eight magic power, one will, one physical, two ability. Oh, and that put us in ink bound status. So I was only one win away. Ink, ink bound rank. That was pretty fun. I, I enjoy the obelisk. I did not realize he could get that tanky with just his uh, iron clapper, you know, the... On using a binding, 20% chance to gain one will. That's a legendary? Oh, I guess when you have a lot of abilities that you can cast for zero, that's pretty broken. Wow. Anything that has a ch like gives you will can make some pretty broken builds, so. Okay, buddy. So now I have to do all this for the Tinkerer. A lot of this kind of happens naturally. I'll mark this one because I don't always take the unscave. All of the vestiges seem somewhat useful. There isn't a lot of bad ones, but I don't want the pool to get too full. More updates, unless there's ways to kind of choose what you want. They all seem pretty useful though, for the most part. And it does seem to kind of go by the class you are. Get more class specific choices. Yeah, got into Inkbound rank tonight. Uh, changing on our little guy. It's pretty. Purple gold and a little wing in it. It's pretty nice. That was an extremely fun obelisk run, but I am uh, done for the night. I will be back tomorrow night, probably not as late as this, and I think by Friday or so I'll have an actual schedule, so I'll be starting Diablo 4. Yeah, definitely loving Eekbound right now. Uh, I can't wait to see what type of updates they get going for release, and so many more classes. They have five more slots just right here, and they could always add to it, change, and all that. Yeah, already as far as roguelike goes, has a lot of content. It could get repetitive for some. Uh, there are a lot of bindings and ascensions, which I think makes it interesting. Not to mention all the collection. So, vestiges, there's 10 pages of 5, 10, 22. 
So what's that, 220 vestiges already? Okay, there's only two on the last page. Still, tons of different build synergies and each class has three ascensions, three abilities, not to mention the other abilities you get to choose during the run. So there's definitely a lot of variety and a lot of builds that work. You don't have to just go one thing. But yeah, great time tonight. I will be back tomorrow night. Bye-bye.